let's talk about procrastination. Yeah, that's right, Mike. Many of us feel guilty and stressed that we haven't completed our to-do list. It can lead to stress, even insomnia. So joining us today to help explain procrastination is Dr. Rebecca Stafford. Morning, Rebecca. Lovely to have you here. Thank you. First up, procrastination, it's not necessarily about being lazy, is it? It's not, unlike what a lot of people think, and in fact, laziness doesn't even exist as a psychological construct, and I have the psychological dictionary to, to prove that. Yes, thank so, you. <laughs> so what, and often people feel really guilty about that, but what so-called laziness actually is, it's usually one of two things, and one is just low motivation. You may have some really big important goal, but it's far away, so it doesn't have much power to motivate you. And another really common situation is motivation is actually really high, but something else is even higher, and that's fear. When you talk about fear, what exactly do you mean? Because I'm loving this, because this is exactly me. Yes, <laughs> you, are, you are here as a case study. <laughs> <laughs> you take anyone in this room as a case study, I think. <laughs> it's very common. Yeah, so um, superficially, uh, many of us, and I certainly am, are afraid of failure, ridicule, criticism, but there's a deeper, more primal fear that underpins all of these fears, and that's the fear of rejection. And mm -hmm. humans, are, as a profoundly social species, um, rejection is quite um, crucial to our survival. And back in cave people days, if your tribe decided that you were a worthless failure, neck minute, they chuck you out of the cave and saber tooth tiger and horrible death. So the fear is actually a really visceral psychological terror. We just want people to like us. We really do. Uh, yeah, and part of the sort of uh, kind of cure for um, managing that better is being okay when people don't like you all the time, and it's not necessarily meaning a saber-toothed tiger death if not everyone <laughs> likes you. <laughs> and that could be translated, I guess, not only in your social scene but also your work scene as well. Oh absolutely uh, rampant and some people just procrastinate in a few areas and for some people it's global in many areas of their life. Yeah. So how do you stop? Well actually understanding the true cause of procrastination which is insufficient motivation and excess fear actually gives us the answer to curing it basically. So the answer is to boost motivation and to decrease fear. Okay. So don't worry, be happy, so to speak. No. Well, no. <laughs> okay. So tell me, so tell me, Rebecca, what is one of the what's the what what is one of the main tips to increase your motivation so you can get through this procrastination? Okay, I commonly use about um, seven psychological strategies for. Um, boosting motivation, um, but one real quick and dirty one. Um, Are they in your th book th by any chance? <laughs> one of them is in my book. <laughs> is like, so I, I hear you're a professional procrastinator. Yes, yes. But have you noticed that getting started is often the hardest part? Yeah, and then I, I start freaking out about it, yeah. And often once you've started, you're underway. And a lot of people say getting started is the hardest mm. part. So just a little trick for getting started. So often we don't want to start something because it's some big, overwhelming, scary task. So just break it down to a tiny, non-scary task and literally set your timer for a tiny, non-scary amount of time, even 10 minutes, and just do right. 10 minutes on that task and then reward yourself at the end. So what you're doing, technically, you're uh, overriding the extinction burst. Um, okay. Colloquially, you're uh, overcoming the inertia. Right. Good tip, so thank excellent. you. So tiny little bits, baby steps is the way to go forward. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That has been, that has been enlightening. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. And do check out Dr Rebecca's website for some great advice.